two different stories, two very different men, but one message of hope and generosity that prepare our hearts to receive the greatest gift of all. Do you enjoy reading a short story with a twist? If so, you can thank American short story writer William Sidney Porter, or better known as O. Henry. He penned over 600 short stories during his lifetime, including the Christmas classic, The Gift of the Magi. The tale reveals the story of Della and Jim, a happily married couple with a problem. It is Christmas Eve and neither of them has purchased a gift for the other because there is not enough money. The narrator tells us that there were only two possessions in which the couple took pride. One was Jim's pocket watch, the other was Della's hair. In order to purchase a gift for her husband, Della sold her hair for $20 and bought a gold chain for Jim's watch. Of course, her husband was surprised to come home and discover that his wife's beautiful long hair was gone. It was then that Jim offered his Christmas present to Della, a set of pure tortoise shell combs for her hair. He had sold his pocket watch to get the money for the combs. In the true spirit of the season, each sacrificed their most prized possession for the other. Amazingly, the life story of O. Henry has all the twists and turns of his famous stories. He was convicted of embezzlement from his job as a bank teller and spent time in prison. He started his own weekly magazine and worked as a newspaper reporter. And despite his talent as an author, he was also an alcoholic who struggled with poor health and financial problems. When he died in a New York hospital, he had just 23 cents to his name. Another author who wrote on the theme of giving was American writer Henry Van Dyke. He was a man of many talents, from poet, fisherman, military officer during World War II, to a Presbyterian minister and professor of literature at Princeton. One of his greatest legacies was to write the words of the famous hymn, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, which is set to the music of Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. His famous story, The Other Wise Man, tells the story of Artaban, a wise man who is to join the other three magi and search for the baby who would become king of Israel. He takes three precious jewels, a sapphire, a ruby, and a pearl, with him to give as tribute to this king. But early in the story, he becomes separated from the others and must use his sapphire to purchase a camel for his travels. He arrives in Bethlehem just as King Herod's soldiers are carrying out orders to kill all the young male children. Artaban offers the second of his treasure, the ruby, to save the life of a mother and her son. For 33 years, Artaban searches for this king with no success. Then he arrives in Jerusalem during the Passover to find a young slave girl being dragged through the city by a group of soldiers. He purchases her freedom with the pearl, the last of his jewels. Suddenly an earthquake hits and Artaban is injured and near death. He is dejected because he has failed to find the king. A voice from heaven then tells him that because he has cared for the least in God's kingdom, he has cared for God himself. Van Dyke writes, His journey had ended, his treasures were accepted. The other wise man had found the king. This story is a perfect reminder that we also can find the king during the season of Advent.